Season 2 finally provided us with some new toys to play with and has slowly been shaking up the meta. For all of Season 1, we saw a double heavy medium known as the Dog Walker Comp and the double medium heavy composition known as the Raid Boss. Well, in Season 2, those comps are still very strong, but the light medium heavy composition has been showing up more and more. Is this just a coincidence or is light finally a strong pick? The one thing that most people complain about with light was their lack of team utility and team play in general. The light always had a unique role that I felt best suited being on a team where you're quite coordinated and have really good communication. But that was difficult to get if you solo queue. A huge misunderstanding I see from newer players is assuming light is just the DPS class, but in fact it's not. Even though its DPS is on average better than the rest, if you play with a mentality that all you do is get big number for damage, you will likely not be useful for your team. Kills are important, but team play and coordination, and especially communication, will outshine every day. Light is more like the scout class with the capability of doing great burst damage. You should gather intel to assist your team, initiate fights, or close out fights by chasing and catching low HP enemies. With Season 2, the Light has Sonar Grenade and Tracking Dart, two absolutely perfect gadgets to complement that role of being a scout, along with receiving the new Gateway Gadget. If you saw my guide on this gadget, you will see just how incredible it is for team play. The Glitch Grenades got a buff where when they impact a shield, they instantly activate. So all of these gadgets together kind of provide an insane amount of utility intel movement and positioning for your team and all this combined is finding a lot of success in various different team compositions and as time goes on this pick will end up becoming more and more popular in higher elo we are finally seeing lights not being considered a troll pick and that is a pretty drastic change from season one indirectly we saw the removal of recon which was the hardest counter to light as well as medium losing the sonar and tracking dart the value of Cloak went through the roof this season. Cloak is now easily an S tier pick for Light because of the lack of counters to it. With the Gateway, you now get Mobility, which was the one thing that Cloak actually suffered from. Another massive change was the removal of Nukes. Nuke basically got a pretty hard nerf that kind of makes it very hard to use, and it's more of something that you would set up. There's also the C4 nerf, the SA12 nerf, all things that previously would have instantly just deleted lights. This has a massively helped lights stay alive when fighting around the objectives. This season with the new skill based matchmaking they implemented has been a pretty good change for the ranked experience. Minus maybe the queue times, lobbies have felt much more difficult than before meaning the meta is pushed even more. So playing off meta is just kind of difficult to play off. That being said, I played with some fellow rank grinders and we used a double light heavy composition and we actually won four games in a row. Over an entire session, we won way more than we lost. I personally didn't expect to see as much success as we did given that that composition previously would have been considered off meta. But to my surprise, it was actually very strong. It made me realize that light isn't just a viable pick, it is a meta pick. Playing ranked without the utility of stun, gateway, and glitches just feels very suboptimal. In my honest opinion, the best composition at the moment is one of each class. In the future, I'll be making a video on how to use light in a full rank tournament breakdown, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video or any other content on the finals. If you guys don't already know, I do have a team with Strafes and Blake, and for that team, I am actually going to be playing as light. So I'm probably going to be playing light a lot more this season and learning a lot more. So you'll kind of have to be expecting a bit more light content, but I'm still going to be flexing and showing you guys everything within the game. The loadout I've found the most success with is cloak, XP 54, stun gun, gateway, and the glitch grenade. The cloak is just extremely strong right now. The XP 54 is probably one of the most well-rounded weapons you can get on the class. The LH1 is also pretty solid, which is why it's in my reserves. We have the stun gun, which, I mean, if, if you have played this game, you understand why you kind of need the stun gun on light. It's a very strong pick. The gateway is insane for mobility. The glitch grenade after that buff has just been amazing for shutting down defenses. 
So for the reserve, I had the LH-1 like I mentioned, which I swapped to for longer range maps such as Cis Horizon, Skyway, and Seoul. I also have the V9S for times when I want to be right up in someone's face. I have the sonar grenade for times when I don't think I'll get enough use out of Gateway, such as with teams I don't know well, or sometimes on Las Vegas as I feel that map is pretty easy to get around with all the zips and jump pads they have. This gadget is also really good at assisting your team in a push. If you get the intel of the defending team's positions, you can approach accordingly. Tracking Dart is probably my favorite addition to the light class. I actually use this a bit on medium, so I'm pretty happy to see it on light as I feel like it does suit light a lot more. I typically use this in every final round because having two enemies tracked for 15 seconds can easily help your team win fights. You can be super aggressive and not get juked, or you can kind of play defensively and not get surprised. As a bonus note, tracking dart deals 5 damage. The LH1 deals 49 per shot. So let's do some quick math here. So light has 150 HP. 3 LH1 shots equals 147, and the tracking dart does 5 damage. This means versus a light, the shots to kill goes from 4 to 3 if they are being tracked by the tracking dart. For medium, it is 250 HP. 5 LH1 shots equals 245, tracking dart again equals 5. So when facing a medium, the shots to kill goes from 6 to 5 if tracking darted. And when facing a heavy, the tracking dart doesn't really change the shots to kill, as to get a new breakpoint, you need to hit two tracking darts, which obviously feels pretty redundant. I found this to be very interesting. I'm not saying that this is super strong as a technique, but by any means, feel free to use it if you're into the LH1 or the tracking dart, because I think just knowing the math here is pretty important. For melee users, the dagger and sword overall feels way better this season. Though I'm not much of a melee user, I've kind of tested it a little bit here and there. But the removal of stuff like nukes and SA-12 has been game-changing for light melee users. The addition of gateway has also been a godsend for them as they can get in and out so fast, be able to juke players mid-fight, and overall melee is feeling a lot stronger this season, which is really nice to see as I feel like it was relatively weak in higher elo and was more of just like a pub stomper, but now we're seeing it be actually a viable pick and you don't necessarily have to be this one trick in order to succeed with it. Since last season, a lot of people still think light isn't good. That is just not the case. They can now be successful in solo queue, in coordinated team comps, in high elo, and in general are much more in line with the rest of the classes. If you haven't been playing light because you thought it was weak, I urge you to give it a try and see how you feel on it. If you have been a person who hates having lights on your team and ranked, you are missing out on some of the most game-changing utility in the game that can completely turn fights in your favor and even give you last second chances to get vaults into the cash out using the gateway. If you've been using light for a long time or just getting into it, please let me know what your favorite loadout or weapon is in the comments below. Thank you to my members, Mally Joyce, DJ Burke, and Jurysack. Take some time to learn the light class before judging it. This class is very, very good right now. Be nice to your teammates and I will see you in the finals. Yeah. Okay. Bro, this could just focus his map. Behind you, behind you is on me now. Okay. So. They're stealing ours. Yeah, that might not have been a play. Holy shit. Orange is fuck us. I mean there's still no one here. It's, I just okay. Purple. One dead. purple kid stole ours? Two right. were over here. No. I can go. Oh, I'm just really weak. Don't There's miss. Domes? Yeah. Jesus Christ, bro. Why does everyone just want us? Purple lost know. ears. Trying to get ours. What are these kids <laughs> doing? Bro? Purple wipe. Orange is back. I'm. I'm worried. Backside. Okay. Right there, right here. There's so much gas. The time. One medium. Nice.
Oh, uh, tickle his ball. I mean, yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, no! No! no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. If you guys don't already know, I actually hosted my first community custom match last Sunday. So here's actually a highlight from it. We decided to do a melee only banquet with all 12 people and it was an absolute blast. It was so nice meeting all of you guys there, playing in these rule sets where we did like melee only, sniper only, we did explosive only. We're gonna kind of do some other game modes. I have plans for like zombies and stuff. So if you're not already in the Discord, be sure to get in there. If you're not checking out the streams on Sunday, be sure to check those out. I'm gonna be streaming roughly around 6 p.m. Eastern on Sundays depending on my schedule so be sure to get in there play some of these custom games beat some people and have a wonderful time